Maybe you've heard about the Nations neighborhood in Nashville and you're wondering, what's the deal with this neighborhood? Well, stick around for this episode because we're gonna tell you everything about it. Where to live, where to shop, where to eat, and maybe where to take a cold plunge. So the Nations is actually a phenomenal neighborhood, um, especially if you're buying like, your first house and maybe you and your partner are gonna live there, maybe have your first child. This actually would be a, a great little spot for that. Or if you're single and it's just you and your dog, another great spot for it. Because the Nations was just kind of working class neighborhood, it had these little tiny houses on it. And probably, you know, five to 10 years ago, they started being knocked down this, the smaller houses and build the two, what are called HBRs, which is a whole nother episode um, in Nashville. And so newer homes and a lot of retail and restaurants and just stuff to do follow. It's been a really cool reinvention of this neighborhood and people love it. The style of home in the nations is usually something that's built in probably the last five to seven years. There'll be about two stories and they'll usually have a, like a garage or a garage port in the back and a small backyard. It's a great layout for, for people. The nations has a mix of, of property types. So you've got some condos, um, silo house condos, you've got one bedroom, two bedroom, those sorts of things. You've got townhomes at places like Treaty Oaks, and then you've got these HPRs, which are like individual, like single family houses. So you can get anything from a condo, you know, in the 300 range, high 300, or you could get a, um, you know, one of the houses for probably in the sixes, like high sixes to start, somewhere around in there, just depending on what you're looking at. Restaurants in the nation, they have Frothy Monkey, which is one of the best coffee shops in town. It's a local place and it's like, they've got several locations, but the nation's location is primo. Great place to go do work. Um, you've got Nikki's Coal Fired, which is awesome pizza. You have, gosh, Daddy's Dogs. You have 51st um, Deli. You have a lot of, a lot of options to go to. And there's a lot of like, just kind of bar situations too. So you've got like the nation's bar, you've got different places to go out and just have a drink breweries too. Fat Bottom's over there, um, Southern Grist is over there. It's got, it's got a lot of entertainment options too. You don't ever have to leave the neighborhood. You are super close. If you're in the nations, you're on the west side of town. And so you would be closer to say, um, like St. Thomas, Vanderbilt. You could probably get to in easily like 15 minutes to get downtown not very much further than that. It's, it's very centrally located. You're not like in a suburb, you are very much in the heart of Nashville. My favorite thing that has just come in the nation is a place called Urban Sweat and they have a sauna and they have red light therapy and then they have a cold plunge tub. And if you've never done that, it's the most awesome thing. You get in it, you can stay in it. It's like 42 degrees. You can stay in it for less than a minute, but you come out and you feel amazing. And that's the kind of thing the nation's is like getting more and more of. As they build, um, they build out this whole like silo house kind of um, development that's closer to the river. There's lots of retail space in there that you can go. There's l, &L Marketplace. There's really a lot of cool adaptive reuse of some spaces over there that you're gonna see some interesting businesses come into. If you have more questions about the nations, drop your questions in the comments. I'm happy to answer or any other Nashville neighborhood. I'd love to hear from you what you wanna hear about and I'll certainly post more videos with answers to those questions. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.